Just it. Just it. One Just fall to a finish. There you Just see the big deal, Tommy Rice. No stranger to any fans of this organization. That amazing theme music he comes out to. One of the more powerful individuals in this sport. Arachnid Soul, as always, in the booth with the best damn pro wrestling commentator going. Here to call the action. And we're going to see him take on a man tonight that you probably haven't seen before. We're going to bring him out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready as we see the push-ups from the big deal. For the debut, I believe, of The Claw. Not a lot's known about this man. Here comes the claw. You know, he, he looks a little bit off. He looks a little bit disturbed. But that's all right. This is pro wrestling. This is a sport of different personalities, different styles. And if he can get it done in the ring, we're going to accept him here in this league. Hailing from parts unknown, I really don't have any notes on this guy, aside from the fact that he did sign a contract with this organization earlier this week. What's he doing with his hand there? Interesting ring gear, interesting taunts. One fall is all it's going to take here tonight. You heard that opening bell once again, Arachnid Soul in the booth here with you for the duration. Just an overhand shot there from Tommy Rice, the opening salvo, if you will. To get things started here, a little tribute to Dusty Rhodes. And there's a receipt. And he actually looked for a low shot to the gut that time, but Tommy Rice backed out. This thing's starting like more of an amateur boxing match than a pro wrestling match. Modified Osoto Gary takedown. And now the claw once again taunting with that claw. High crotch, scooping a slam that time at center ring. And you've got to wonder if the claw, as he eats that knee to the jaw, is going to be looking for maybe a mandible claw or a choke slam, some type of choke. Tommy Rice, known for doing push-ups in the back before he gets into these matches. Tonight, actually doing the push-ups yeah. during the matches. This man never gassed, never blown up, as we see the Greco-Roman knuckle lock there. Very impressive that the claw was able to break out of that, though. I mean, Tommy Rice, like I said, one of the more powerful individuals in this sport, usually wins these kind of lockups. And we see the same thing there. And when you look at the, the upper development there of the, the chest on the claw, I mean, it looks like he's no slub either. Sent out that time over the top. Some cobwebs there might have hit his head outside. You see pads out there, but those are thin pads as the claw now... Just went under the ring, pulled out a steel ring chair. See if that's going to come into play. Once again, high crotch, scooping a slam. Elbow drop that time, full arm dragon twist. Short, short, sh short elbow block there, the shoulder block. Once again, the elbow drop from Tommy Rice. Thomas Rice always in great conditioning, sent for the ride. And that time eats another shoulder and another elbow. Went for the knee. No water in the pool once again. And there's the stomp. And this thing's really just been a brawl. And speak of the devil, we have a hockey fight now. And it's Tommy Rice who comes out on top. Well, you can call that one at home for yourself. Somersaults through. Fireman's carry. There's that loose Spicoli driver. Beautifully executed. Great show of strength there. Shot off to the corner. The claw back in control with the boot. Reverses the whip to the far side. The claw comes in. Nasty Axe Bomber. Styladiato in the corner. Went for a pin. Hooked the far leg. Looked for three. Could not even find one. Double leg into the inverted atomic drop. And once again, Tommy Rice doing his push-ups there in the center of the ring. The boot. A couple of shots upstairs from the claw. And now the Vader hammers. These are nasty. You hit somebody with that and they might not wake up. Lateral press here. Cradles the neck. Hook the far leg. Once again was looking for three. The first time didn't even get one. That time got one. So he's breaking his man down a little bit is the claw. Tommy Rice off the ring skirt with the double sledge. And now the ground and pound outside on the concrete. Rice so close that time as he was thrown off to hitting his head against that steel guardrail. You gotta watch that. A lot of metal, a lot of concrete, sharp edges there outside the ring, which is why we try to keep the action inside the ring. 
scoop slam. It's the third time we've seen it tonight. And here's the stretch muffler. Some call this a horseshoe. Didn't have it for very long. The claw able to find the out. Both men looking for strikes there. As Tommy Rice ends up with the boot. Also ends up getting shot off. Sidewalk slam. Oh, these are nasty. These are those exposed elbows. And Tommy Rice had his arm trapped so he couldn't even protect himself. Both men back up. Scoop slam in the corner. Stomp. And a leg drop from the claw. Nice combination. Epon Sayanagi style judo throw. And once again into the ground and pound. And we're going to have to look into it. I mean, there's a lot of guys in this league. I think about Tommy Italian for one. There's a lot of guys that have trained also in shoot fighting or hooking, submission wrestling. And we're seeing a lot of that style from Tommy Rice. Bionic elbow drop that time. And I'll say it one more time if you will. Couldn't get the three count he was looking for. But both of these guys will stay on their opponent. And now the claw fires up a little bit. Don't get flexed. Tommy Rice now, stomping the yard, stomping the back of the skull of the claw. The claw set for the ride, military press, and sent out over the top turnbuckle. Actually hit the back of his skull on the ring apron on the way down. It's a real nasty thing to have happen. It's a real easy way to get a concussion. I mean, we talk about CTE and all the brain damage that we know about in sports. I mean, there's been a lot of talk recently about some of the concussions we've seen in the National Football League. But this is the most dangerous sport. This is the sport of kings. Tommy Rice now up against that turnbuckle. And the claw liked those punches so much he gave him three. Choke slam into the sit out power bomb. Oh, 2.9. And it cannot get much closer than that. There was not a lot of daylight between the referee's hand and that ring canvas. Was that all that Tommy Rice had in the tank? And how tough is the claw to actually make it back to his feet before the man who executed the move? Tommy Rice that time. Nasty elbow butt to the jaw. The claw managed to slip out of that rear gut wrench. Very beautifully done. Sends his man off to the ropes. Rice hooked the ropes, put the brakes on. And now both men jockey for position. Thomas Rice sent to the outside. Eats the boot, does the claw. And we're going to have to find out more about the claw. Front face lock, vertical suplex. And now stomps his man, looking for the plunder. The claw's got that piece of wood. The referee at eight. The referee at nine. And the claw will win it on a count out, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure we're going to come back and revisit these two at some point in the near future. The Claw's a man to be reckoned with. He just got a win, be it a count-out win over Tommy Rice. What did he have planned with that wood? Once again, fans, you're watching the best wrestling league you're going to find going. Stay with us. We're going to try to find out more about the Claw in the future. Six minutes, 49 seconds. It's a ring out win for the claw over Thomas Rice.